Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and hang on, let me make sure that this is recording. Okay, good. Yeah, sometimes, uh, this does not want to record right. Actually, let me just move that to that, minimize that, and while I'm talking, I'm going to check on the volume. Just to make sure, because sometimes somebody turns it down, and I don't know who does it, and I hate it, because when my mic volume is down, you guys can't hear me, and I hate that as well, because, I mean, I do reaction videos. If you can't hear me talking, it's not much of a reaction, is it? Only thing you'd see would be my facial expressions. Okay, good. It's all... Oh, okay. Good. Anyway, um, this is going to be my review for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, episodes 18 to 20. Um, I just got episodes 18 to 20 edited earlier in the day, or else I would have gotten this out sooner. But, um, quick, uh, I guess you could say a little mini... No... No, I think I'll make a separate video on that. I was going to talk about my food that I had gotten because I had pre I had reordered something from Wendy's that had food for the kids as well. And when I got my food and I went to get the sauces that I had ordered, uh, I think two creamy sriracha sauces. It was from Wendy's. And instead, they gave me two of these, the ghost pepper sauce. The ghost pepper ranch sauce and two honey mustards. I'm not a fan of the honey mustard. But I was worried about this one because I'm not very good with spice. And I know the ghost pepper sauce is, well, probably the hottest sauce around. Except for the Carolina Reaper, which I think is the hottest pepper around from when I remember. Anyway, uh, never mind. I will talk about this, I guess, real quick. It's not that big a deal. I like it. It wasn't near as hot as what I thought it was going to be. Because when I opened it, because usually when you open the sauces, it a little bit will get in your finger as you're pulling the paper off. I tasted it. I was waiting for the heat to kick in because I knew sometimes it took a minute for the heat to kick in. It didn't work. It did not happen. It was, it was spicy, but it wasn't spicy enough to where I couldn't handle it. Which is weird. I wonder what my fiancé would think of that sauce, because I know he likes spice. Anyway. Enough of that. Uh... Wait, what is that? Huh? Did my mom seriously link? I think she seriously linked uh, Google Chrome, the one I had up yesterday. On my desktop. I'm going to have to check that a bit. But anyway. um, Shoot. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure episodes 18 to 20. As you guys probably remember from last episode... Jojo had beaten ACDC, and when he went to go back to meet up with the others and let him know what happened, we see what remains of ACDC clinging to Jojo's back, which is essentially just a brain stem at this point. Or a brain and the stem, essentially, at this point. And he ends up running into Susie Q, which is a little Ita was a young Italian lady. And she they were just going back and forth, and as soon as he goes... To walk away, he touches his back because it was itching him, and there's nothing there. I'm like, oh dear, it's gotten loose. Go find it. It makes me think of those uh, horror movies involving, uh, shoot. Uh, The Thing, I think is what I'm thinking of. The movie The Thing? Or Alien, the Alien movies as well? Actually, I think the Alien movie is probably more akin to this. But, yeah. <coughs> anyway. Uh, he sees her on the dock giving a parcel to a boat. Okay? Nothing weird about that. As soon as he goes back to... Uh... <sighs> shoot. Um... Dang it, I'm blanking on her name. Their teacher. 
shoot, I forgot her name. I'm sorry. He went back to her room and he saw that she was bathing and he decided to be a little perv and, well, peep on her. And we see that Susie Q is back in the room and I'm like, when did she get back in the room? Last we saw, she was on the dock. She couldn't have moved that fast. And Jojo actually mentions this. Like, how did she get, I didn't even see her go in the room. And as he's touching the knob, he pulls his hand away and it's covered in green slimy gooey stuff. And as I'm watching this, I'm thinking, oh dear God, is she possessed? Because we don't see the red stone on the table anymore. And, uh, shoot, um, what was her name? Uh, whatever her name is, uh, she realizes something is wrong, and yes, she ends up being possessed by ACDC. And I'm thinking, oh, they're going to have to kill this poor girl now. Somehow, thanks to Caesar and Jojo using two different hormones, they are able to get ACDC out of her without killing her in the process, which is good. And they finally, you know, destroy him once and for all, but now they have to go and chase that boat down. Uh, they go to chase it down, and they figure out where it's going from there, and they go to head it off. Jojo, you know, being silly and promising to come back for Susie Q afterwards, I'm like, dang, man. Anyway, they meet up with the train, and it turns out that the Germans are interested in the Redstone, the Redstone as well, and they've been keeping an eye on them the entire time. Turns out... She, whatever his name is, the guy who got, uh, him, who blew himself up to get rid of, uh, shoot, I'm remembering, I'm forgetting the character's names, uh, the first Pillar Man guy, to get rid of him, they, he blew himself up, I can't remember, but he's now a, um, shoot, what would you call it, an, it's either a, I think it's a cyborg, cause that's essentially a human with body, of metal body parts. I don't know what part of him is human at this point because we don't know how much of him is left at this point because he blew himself up. Now, if he was just like, let's say, half of him was there afterwards, then, yeah, part of him would be human, but at this point, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine on that one. Anyway, he ends up taking out, uh, going to try and take out cars who took out his men with his own abilities. And, uh, yeah, cars tries to leave with the redstone by getting off a by rolling himself off a cliff, but Jojo grabs him, goes down with him, and manages to somehow get the red stone away from the guy, and get himself away from the situation by creating a rope of icicles infused with hormone as they stuck them together and together and together to make a rope so the others could get him out of there. Cars obviously survives the fall. I mean, it would be kind of weird and very anticlimactic if he actually didn't survive the fall. I mean, we still got six episodes left. And, uh, they end up <sighs> realizing where, uh, the guy ended up going and following him there. And in an odd twist of fate, Caesar is the one all gung-ho to go in and take him out while the sun is out. And... Jojo is the one who says no, he more than likely has traps prepared to protect himself during the day because, you know, sun will kill him. Because essentially it's the opposite, where Jojo is normally the one who wants to go in and take care, wanting to rush in and do things, and Caesar's the one who's normally level-headed. Caesar decides to go in on his own, and um, I don't know if I mentioned this in, I think I mentioned this in the beginning of this epi next episode, but I had tried to first record it. But I didn't realize at the time that my stupid recording software was not recording audio for me or the video, so it was just silent the entire time. And that would have been my blind reaction, so that episode is not going to be a regular blind reaction, it's just going to be a regular reaction. So Caesar goes in and... Shoot, it was ACDC, Cars, and... Start with a W. I can't remember his name for the life of me. He faces him, the guy with the wind abilities, and 
uh, he actually manages to do a decent amount of damage to the guy. And we find out his backstory. You know, his dad left his family. And because of this, uh, he is he grew resentment to his father. And, you know, got into gangs, violence, all that stuff. Until he finally spotted his father. And he went and found that, sa not the same one, but a different one. Uh mural thingy of the pillar man thing and he actually ends up almost getting skewered thanks to a trap but his father jumps in and saves him not knowing that that was his son so he jumped in for a completely random stranger as far as he knew and essentially got sucked into the thing okay I don't know why that stupid thing is messaging again the messages for Instagram I don't really use it Anyway, uh, we find out all that, and that's why he's wanted to go after uh, the Pillar Man and everything, is because his father died because of all that. And his father had actually trained... Shoot. Oh, that was her name, Lisa Lisa. That was what her name was. I could not remember her for the life of me. But yeah, uh, he trained, I think he trained under Lisa Lisa, or met her, or something... And had found out about Zeppeli and everything. About what his father had done. And wanted to try and stop the Pillar Men once and for all before anything else happens. Or maybe he was just going after the whole mask thing like his father had. And that just led to the Pillar Men thing. But yeah, uh, Caesar ends up taking quite a fair amount of damage in this fight. To the point... Where he is going to bleed out. And even despite this, he keeps on fighting. To the point where he uses the last of his hormone to seal his... He managed to grab the ring from, uh... Whatever the guy's name is, I can't even remember the top of me. The other ring that he needed... Or, sorry, the first ring that he needed, I think... Because... No, he already got the first ring from ACDC, and... He got the other ring from him that he was going to use... To, you know, get rid of the other poison ring stuck in his... It was either his heart or his wimp I can't remember. But... Yeah... He put that around his bandana and sealed it in a blood blue a blood bubble with the last of his hormone in it before a piece of the ceiling fell down and you can probably guess what happened. It crushed him. Literally crushing him and killing him in the process. So it's at this point that Lisa Lisa and Jojo ended up getting there and Shoot, I can't remember the guy's name. The big bad guy that he was fighting essentially showed an ounce of respect for Caesar as a warrior. Wamu! That was what his name was. I couldn't remember for the life of me. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Womp, uh, Wamu shows him an ounce of respect at least because of how fought, how much passion he had and how fought, how much he fought as a warrior. How bravely he fought as a warrior, despite, you know, the odds against him. And that's why he didn't get rid of the bubble that had the ri the nose ring in it. So he leaves, still bleeding, obviously. And the others mourn Caesar's loss at this point. Which sucks, because I would have loved to have seen uh, Jojo grow up with Caesar and, you know, being the way they are as old people. That would have been cool. I would have loved to see that stuff. But no. They had to take Caesar away from us. Rip Caesar Zippoli. You will be missed. Anyway. But yeah. it. Even though I had already seen it. It still broke me. You do. I think you see me cry in this episode. I am not sure. Off the top of my head. But yeah. it. Uh, it it's not. It's not good. Anyway. I will see everybody next time.